This is the Throstle Club with Norman Bartlam and Bob Downing. You'll have seen Bobby Charlton a good few times then, Ken? Yes. I've seen him play at the Albion Guard. I've seen him, I've been down and seen him play at United. Every time, down the walls. I never saw him play at Aston Villa. Of course, in my whole lifetime, I've only entered the Villa ground twice. <laughs> it's a classic sacrilege for me to be an Albion supporter to enter Villa Park. To go back to Charlton there. Uh, yes, I've seen him play quite a few times. But it was in the days when George Best and Dennis Law and Charlton, you know, Manchester United, more or less a team of internationals in them days. That was everything, you know. It's like Manchester City was last year. That was a team, everything. And any more of a modern player or Albion players that were sort of Bobby Charlton style? Bobby Hope. <clears throat> Bobby Hope, he was always uh, just behind. Forward line in between the forward line and the old pack. But uh, Georgie Best, he was a good, obviously Georgie Best was Georgie Best, yeah. but Charlton, to me, he took charge of the game from the know, and he scored some marvellous goals. He always had to have the best game against us, unfortunately, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Alvin couldn't stop him, Sammy Georgie Best, like. Just got no, I no idea what to do with him. But Charlton he used to be just beyond the, just in front of the back, half back line, just, you know. And he used to put, like with the right ball, or he used to patch, try the ball all over the pitch. And he got a tremendous shot. He did so much to win England that World Cup. I remember the game against Argentina when the Lambs went. Alf Hamsley calls them animals, the way they play. They tried to kick England off the pitch. They got their one player sent off, because of a foul he made. And Alf Hamsley said, well, that was animal. But they got what they want, no. They got what they expect. They, mm -hmm. they got what they deserve. They deserve it. Yeah. But Bobby Charlton was always a, you know, the gentleman footballer, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yes. All the... Uh, Things what's been said about him these past few days you now. I was perfectly true. He was a you know I agree with everything that's been said about him what he did. All the fame he got, he deserved it. The way he played football. That's what it was to me. He was a perfect footballer in the way he played and his manner and exemplary how he played the game. You know. Mm -hmm. But he played the game as it should be played in my opinion. This is the Throstle Club with Norman Bartlam and Bob Downing.